Hello everyone, today I'm going to be talking about a proposed initiative in California that would probably affect a lot of you or a lot of people that you know. I've already talked about this on my social media, but this initiative was proposed by an organization called Raise Your Rights, and it would give parents a jury right in family law child custody cases. I'm 21 now, but I was involved in the family court system for 10 years, and as I've talked about in some of my other videos, these issues continue to affect my life to this day. There hasn't been any press coverage for this initiative yet, so I really felt like I needed to take the time to make this video and just let you all know that this is happening and that there are things that you can do about it. So I just wanted to make this video to let you all know that you can submit a public comment on the Attorney General's website. You don't have to use your name or address or anything like that. You can just submit a comment sharing your thoughts. And I just submitted my own comment earlier today in opposition to this initiative. And in my comment, I said, my name is Monica Vallon. I'm a 21 year old college student at San Jose State University. I'm an adult child of divorce. I was involved in the family court system in San Mateo County for 10 years, and it was one of the worst experiences of my life. I'm an advocate for reform. I think the family court system needs to change. However, I don't think that a jury right for children, actually parents, is the right solution. A jury would introduce people into the situation that are likely to take sides. Members of the general public also do not have the training or knowledge necessary to make these decisions that will significantly impact the lives of children. So that's the comment that I submitted. I tried to keep it relatively short, but I really wanted to make it clear why I was opposing the initiative. And that's because I don't think the general public has the knowledge necessary to make these sorts of decisions. I really feel like members of the general public would take sides in these sorts of situations and they would have a hard time. And because so many of us have been involved in the family court system in the past or know people that have been involved with it, it would probably be hard for them to separate their past experiences from whatever case they're listening to. So that's why I'm opposing the initiative. I'm also really disappointed that the proposed title is Jury Entitlement in Matters Related to Legal Rights to Children. Because to me, this just seems like a bunch of angry parents got together and decided to advocate for their own rights. And obviously it's their right to propose this initiative if they want to. I just think that they should be honest with what it's actually about. I just don't think that they should include the rights of children in the title when it's really about their own rights. So whether you agree with me or disagree with me, I just really want to encourage anyone out there that has an opinion on this. I tried to get people involved in these sorts of things in the past and I haven't been very successful. We absolutely have the power to help young people that are still in the family court system and we have the power to help ourselves. I know a lot of people that grew up in the family court system that are now over 18 that are struggling to get financial aid and other assistance from the government. So please make a comment on the Attorney General's website. I'll put a link to where you can submit a comment down below. And I would also like to encourage you to share your thoughts on social media using the hashtag WhatAboutUs. I started this hashtag back in May and I really want to get it going. So please use the hashtag if you want to and share your thoughts. And if you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. I'm also completely open to doing interviews about this or debating anyone at Raise Your Rights because I think this is a really important issue that deserves attention. That's pretty much everything that I want to say for now. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see all of you very soon with a new video. Goodbye.